today we are going to install the engine guard. I uh, got the mustache, mustache style engine guard. Uh, this is actually one of my first first purchases. Um, you know, I really don't like the way they look, but there's a lot of things about it that I do like. Uh, one, I'm, I'm a little bit uh, convinced that that engine guard bought me a little bit of time when I got hit to get my leg clear enough. Um, without that, that, that first impact would have been on the front fender and my knee. So there's that aspect of it, but just the aspect of if I would ever drop the bike, it's just an easier, <laughs> easier way to pick it up. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get through, get going on that. I got the uh, fender covered up, protected, ready to go. Hopefully I don't run into too many snags. Uh, so the first, first thing we're gonna look at is just, I have a horn on this one, so I'm gonna look at these two connectors. Kind of move those out of the way. So then I'm going to take the horn off. It's a T25. And that's the horn. Got that taken off. All right, using a T45, I'm gonna undo this bracket here. I'm keeping all the padding and everything on while I try and do this. Ideally, you know, you'd have a you'd have somebody there to help you hold some things. But thread the bracket for the horn, and I'm just gonna lift this engine guard up and just start getting it in place now as I'm hand tightening it I'm just kind of doing a five to ten revolutions on one and then switching over to the other one just so it raises up evenly and doesn't put this in a bind so I used 243 on the bolts that are going to go, Loctite 243 on the bolts that are going to go on the frame. And I'll use 242 just on the little screws that go. Right now I'm literally getting like one click on the ratchet before I'm even gripping it just because I got limited space. So every time I took these top bolts in, every time I took these top bolts in, I was hitting my ratchet on the fender. So prime example of just protecting your fender. bottom ones will be a lot easier to torque down 
top ones will be a little tougher. So I actually just filmed this whole thing of me torquing all these down, but you're torquing it to 25 to 35 foot pounds. Uh, clearance is pretty limited, but uh, we got it done. The bottom's pretty easy, but it's bolted to the frame nice and hard, so we'll uh, go ahead and put that horn back on and we're good to go. All right, using uh, just some 242 Loctite. Try and get this hand started. I am interested in getting that louder horn. Uh, I know Harley sells one, and I've seen a couple other places that do as well. If any of you guys have any uh, thoughts on that, be sure to let me know. Put them in the uh, comment section because this one is decently loud, but I kind of want an attention getter. You know, like a really like if I honk at somebody, I want them to really be like, "Holy shit, what the hell is that?" And then I cruise by and let them know that they messed up. Just snug, uh, letting the lock tight do its thing. And now we'll. Hook the horn back up. Make sure we uh ride it right. Oh, horn's working. Engine guard's on there. As you can see, not too big, does the job. Got some foot rests. I'm a little too short to use those foot rests. Um, occasionally we'll do it on the highway, but as always, thank you guys for watching. Click that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you next time. Have a good one.